G'day, I'm Livio Pace from Boss Attachments. I'm here today to speak about the Boss Telescopic Arms and the Integrated Boss Auto Lockout Systems. The Structure Telescopic Arms are a telescopic arm that they can reach down from 20 metres to 50 metres in depth. They're predominantly used in basement digouts, tunnelling, anywhere you're going to dig a big deep basement and you need to extract the soil out of the ground quickly and load it in the trucks. Traditionally, when clients had a deep basement of 20 metres, 30 metres or, or 40 metres, the, the method of extracting the soil out was basically crane and kibble, which is extremely expensive, slow, multiple machines. With the telescopic arm, it's one man, one machine. It's extremely safe. The machine sits at the top, lowers down the telescopic clamshell bucket, loads it up and it'll load a truck out. This particular unit, is capable of doing 88 cubic meters an hour at a depth of 30 meters, and that's one man, one machine. The Boss Lockout System is a system that we've designed. It, uh, it speaks to the telescopic arm, it interfaces with the excavator, it restricts the arm from working outside of nine degrees, which has two main purposes. The main one is ultimate safety, your operator will never drop the machine in the hole. The machine is always within its ultimate stability range. The other thing is once arms start running past nine degrees, not only is it unsafe, but now you've got a huge wear factor on the arm and your life cycle on telescopic arm becomes very short. Our system interfaces, like I said, with the, uh, with the excavator. Once the arm is extended past two meters, our system takes control of all the levers. Basically, your operator, whilst he can move the, S the, the telescopic arm within nine degrees, positive and negative, once he hits that nine degrees, we lock him out. He can't go any further. We also restrict the slew functions. He has got slew, but it's, uh, it's extremely slow and it's not very powerful at all. So in the event the operator does slew into a mound or into an obstruction, it will stop the machine and it won't want to bend the arm or whatever else could happen with a collision like that. Whilst we build slide out cabs, um, we feel that with a Boss Auto Lockout System, there is no need for a slide out cab because our lockout system is also integrated with our 360 degree view camera. So the operator, whilst he's looking at the camera to see where he's going to the stockpile, our lockout system is keeping the arm vertical and in the hole at any one time. So there's no need for the operator to be leaning forward and looking through his legs and trying to aim where he's going because while he's working like this, his shoulders are going to, at the end of the day, he's going to know he's been doing that and he becomes fatigued. But the way we do it, he's going to sit back in the relaxed position. He can be listening to the radio. We don't care what he does because we're doing all the work. He's just pointing it roughly in the right direction and then we take over. The system's a very simple system to operate. It's a small touch screen here. Everything you want's on there. You can turn your working lights on. Um, it tells you once the arm is extended down to the bottom and the arm bottoms out, hits the mound, it'll come up landing. It says, hey, I've hit the bottom. Close your bucket, pull me back up. So not only has he got a visual, but he's also got an audio as well. So he's not even looking at it. He'll hear a slight beep, pull me up. In the event, there is a, a, a broken cable or a cable has come out of adjustment. The system will warn you. You'll come up like it is here, check wire rope. You've got the option of silencing the alarm. If you realize it's nothing major, maybe a sensor's moved or just a loose rope, you can silence it and continue to work. However, we do monitor it. In the back of the system, it constantly monitors all the faults and all the alarms. The angle system built into this arm is visual on the screen by a number which starts off as zero. We're saying zero is 90 degrees straight up and down. And then with a minus symbol and a number up to nine degrees or whatever. So if it's in a minus, you know that the arm is towards the cab and it's saying, you know, tells you which direction you're going at. Once the operator starts creeping up to the nine degrees, at, at seven degrees, there's a green arrow that will turn yellow and say, hey, you're getting close to your limits. But once he gets to that nine degrees, it's gonna flash with a stop sign in the angle that he's going wrong. 
and then we take over and we just locked him out. He can correct, but he can't go beyond those limits. Another unique feature that we built into our telescopic arms is that we have a backfill function. Now generally, telescopic arms are designed to only extract soil out of the hole. However, we have found that they are handy to lower soils back into the holes. So with a telescopic arm, we have a backfill function on the touch screen, just simply press the button and it allows the operator to lower a product down the hole slowly without a fear of a cylinder overrun. On the back end of the system, we've got basically just, just a standard hour meter. However, it's a bit more in depth because not only do we record the hours that the telescopic arm is on the excavator while the operator is sitting there with his ignition on, we also record how many hours the arm is actually physically working. These are hours when the arm is being extended and retracted. On top of that, we have an hour meter which counts down from 500 hours. So at, at 450 hours, the operator's gonna have a warning come on your screen saying, hey, you're getting close to your service. And at 500 hours, we're saying that the arm needs a service. Make sure that everything's greased, cables are fine, everything's perfectly running as it should be. The main reason why we've set up the alarm system for a, a service interval is because we have extended service interval times and people are going to tend to forget when your service is due. This will remind you your service is due. So regardless where you are in the world, we'll be there to, to give this thing a service. To complement the, the lockout system, we've got our Boss twin camera system. It basically consists of two cameras down the bottom of the hole, sitting on top of the bucket, and gives you a 360 degree view right here on the screen. The Boss auto lockout system is unique in its kind and it is a first in the world. Although it was designed predominantly for the Boss Extractor Series, it's not limited to only the Extractor Series. It can be retrofitted to other products throughout the industry. This particular setup we have here is on a, uh, a Volvo EC355EL. It's the latest in the short radius machines. Um, it's fitted up with a 25 meter telescopic arm with a one cubic meter bucket at the bottom of it and we have a four ton overslung counterweight which is manufactured right here in Australia by our team at Boss Attachments. For more information on the Boss Extractor Series, the lockout system or any of the other amazing products that we do here at Boss Attachments, look us up at www.bossattachments.com.au or give us a call at 1300 11661.